All right, hello everyone, and thank you. Um, I'd like to talk about machine learning in Go. So on our social platform, there are more than 50 million users registered. And by um, interacting with each other, they produce roughly 1 million requests per minute to our systems. Now, we're using machine learning um, to make several decisions. For example, finding possible chat partners or separating the good guys from the bad guys by filtering spam. And to accomplish that, we're using Go because it allows us to easily build high-performant um, concurrent systems that deal with this kind of load. Now, to train the models, we need to use the models, we need to train them first. And for that, we're using historical data stored in Hadoop. So since we're using uh, Go at the runtime, we'd also like to use Go for the model training. But there are some problems here. First, it's impossible to download the data from Hadoop, so we have to move the model training, which complicates deployment and debugging. And second, when you work with machine learning, you spend most of your time doing um, feature extraction, um, as well as pre-processing, cleaning, and sampling the data, instead of doing the actual model training. And while this is possible in Go, it's not very convenient. Simply, I mean, this is not what Go was created for. So instead, we want to use dedicated tools like Spark or R, or visual tools like Nime or RapidMiner that perform all steps of model training perfectly integrated with Hadoop. And this has two advantages. First, it uh, simplifies our runtime models, or runtime uh, libraries. And second, more importantly, it allows the data scientists to do, the, to do their work with the technologies they know and like. So now we have perfect models, but executing them in Spark or R brings in a whole new set of problems. So actually, we'd like to run Go again. Well, a trained model is basically just a bunch of numbers or conditions. And implementing that in Go is pretty easy. So let me show two examples. First, let's take a random forest with 100 trees. We can, we can export that tree to a markup language, which gives us a file of roughly 90 megabytes. And our first approach now was to generate that model into pure Go code, which is pretty easy because a random forest consists of decision trees, which can directly be expressed as conditional statements in Go. However, the resulting file is roughly 40 megabytes in size, and when you try to compile that, it well, makes your computer stuck for half an hour, and you're lucky if it ever stops swapping. So instead, we went to generate code that loads and interprets the model at runtime that has similar performance, but without the compiler hassle. A second example is logistic regression, where it's even easier since we can simply export the model coefficients to JSON and then generate code that performs the computation at runtime. Now, these two examples may look like custom solutions, but actually the idea of um, executing a trained model using generated code can be applied to many different kinds of models once you know the particular model format. And this approach has proven to be very successful for our purposes, plus it avoids the use or the, the need for a full-blown machine learning library in Go and uses Go where it really shines. Thanks.